Question number 106, floral formula of a plant is given as this. By this information, we cannot say that. First option, corolla has imbricate estivation or valvate estivation. Definitely, with the help of floral formula, we cannot say that the estivation is imbricate or valvate. Here, in this floral formula, you cannot see the estivation. Second one, Cadex is gamosaplus or polysaplus. Yes, by seeing the floral formula, you can say that the calyx is gamosaplus or polysaplus. For example, here this K, it is K bracket 5 and the bracket closed. So, this bracket shows the gamosaplus condition means by seeing the floral formula, you can identify whether the calyx is gamosepalus or polysepalus. So, this can be seen. Third option, flower is epigynous or hypogynous. Means the ovary is superior or inferior. Definitely, you can identify. See here, G, it is written as G, bracket open, 2, and this is the line over here, which shows the flower is hypogynous and the ovary is superior. So, this is True. Fourth one, stamens are epipetalous or epiphyllous. We can also see that the stamens are epipetalous or epiphyllous. How? Here in this particular question, you can see CA and there is a cap over it which shows androecium is attached with the corolla which is epipetalous condition. So, it can also be seen. So, these three options can be seen, but the estimation cannot be seen. So, the correct option for the given question is option number 1. Let's move to the next question. Question number 107. A particular tissue of a dicot plant has following features. Intercellular spaces are absent, provides mechanical support to young stem, often performs photosynthesis. Corners of their cells are thickened with cellulose, hemicellulose and pectin. Which is this tissue you have to identify? See, if only corners are thickened with cellulose, hemicellulose and pectin, it means it is a tissue which can provide the mechanical support which is written over here. This is the living mechanical tissue. Now, it can often perform the photosynthesis. It may have chlorophyll. So, which tissue is a living mechanical tissue which can perform photosynthesis without doubt it is the colon chyma so the correct option for the given question is option number four what about the other options parenchyma cannot provide mechanical support chloral chyma it's a parenchyma with chlorophyll tissue sclerenchyma it is dead mechanical tissue it cannot perform photosynthesis Let's see the next question. Question number 108. At maturity, which of the following elements of complex tissues of plants are devoid of protoplasm? A. Phloem parenchyma. Phloem parenchyma is not devoid of protoplasm. Companion cell, again living cell, it does not devoid of protoplasm. Tracheids, they are dead. They are devoid of protoplasm at maturity. Sieve tube, living cell. Xylem parenchyma, living cell. Vessels, of course, they are dead and they are devoid of protoplasm at maturity. So, C and F only. So, the correct option for the given question is option number 2. Let's move to the next question. Question number 109. All of the following are meant for preventing water loss from the plants except... Trichomes, they are meant for preventing water loss. They prevent water loss from the plant. It is true. Bulliform cells, they are meant for this only. They prevent water loss during the stressed condition. It is true. Cuticle layer, yes, it's a waxy layer which prevents the water loss. Stomata are not meant for the water loss. But yes, during the stressed condition, the rate of transpiration decreases and a plant has a mechanism to close the stomata to reduce the transpiration. But they are not meant for the water loss. Instead, they are meant for the gaseous exchange. So, the correct option for the given question is option number 1. Let's move to the next question. Question number 110. The common characteristic for heartwood and sapwood is that... They have the deposition of organic compounds like tannins, resins, 
gums etc it is true for the heartwood but not for the sapwood as heartwood is the central part of the secondary xylem whereas sapwood is the peripheral part of the secondary xylem it is meant for the conduction of water and minerals heartwood does not conduct water and minerals so they do not conduct water no sapwood conducts water they are dark in color no heartwood is dark in color but not the sapwood sapwood is lighter in color as compared to the heartwood fourth one these are the regions of secondary xylem yes the secondary xylem is wood and this heartwood and sapwood these are the part of secondary xylem or these are the regions of the secondary xylem so the correct option for the given question is option number 4 let's move to the next question mm -hmm.